Hi, I'm Ashley, and I'm so excited to have Pretty in the studio with me today. She's the author of our book, Chaiwala. Ashley, I'm so excited to be here and make a craft inspired by our picture book. Oh, same here. <laughs> you know, Ashley, to me, Chaiwala is a story about taking a moment to just appreciate your surroundings, no matter where you are. Um, and also centers around a really special drink called chai, which means tea. Pretty, I'm a big fan of tea mm. <laughs> as well. So that's why I brought in, or I've asked you to bring in some of your favorite cups and mugs to use as inspiration for the craft we'll be doing today. We'll be recreating a mug out of paper. Shall we get started? I can't wait. Awesome. So what we'll need for our craft today is a white sheet of paper, a black sheet of paper, glue stick, a black marker, some pencil crayons or crayons, a scissors of course, and then some scraps of colored paper, whether that be gift wrap, cards from magazines, whatever you have at home that you can use for collaging color onto your teacup. So we have two sheets of paper here. This black sheet is gonna act as the background for our teacup. Okay. And this white sheet is going to be our actual teacup. So to shape it so it's the right size for our background, let's just fold the white piece okay. in half. So as you can see, it's gonna be kind of like this big on our sheet. Okay. So let's Take that same sheet of paper okay. and fold it a second time. Down this way. Do one more fold from this fold in. Okay. And this will be the handle of our teacup. Oh, okay. It's good to have guides like this. So now that we have our paper folded in half and then a quarter, we're going to use this side as the teacup part. And to draw that, let's look at our teacup. Grab your black marker. And if you notice, this is like a square. It's kind of like a rectangle. But we're going to turn it into a cylinder. To do that, just make a curve at this corner of the fold. OK. And this corner. <laughs> Kind of like that? Exactly. Okay. And if you look at the base of your cup, it's also curved. Let's curve that too. So just make sort of a circle, circular curve at the bottom. Okay. So kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Now, does it matter what shape it is at the bottom? That's a great question because if you look at your mug, it's kind of triangular the way it tapers down. Right. So what you could do is let's taper in the bottom a little more triangular. Triangular. So Got you it. See how that yep. you have that shape? And I would just curve this top a little bit like that. Okay. That nice. makes sense. <laughs> now I can actually see the triangular shape at the bottom. <laughs> so now we're going to make the opening of our mug we're just going to draw that right in this section here okay so if you just take your pinky finger yep place it next to the line you've done right here yep. and as a guide just kind of make an oval inside this spot kind of the width of your pinky finger perfect and this will be the opening where we can see what is in our teacup. <laughs> it's gonna look beautiful. Does that work? That works wonderfully. Oh, great. What are we missing? Ooh, the handle. The handle of our teacup. So to do that, let's just keep using this um, quarter fold here as a guide. Okay. And I don't know, if you look at the handle of your cup, it kind of looks like an ear, doesn't it? Oh yeah, you're right. I never actually noticed that. <laughs> Yours very That's much very cool. Like an ear. So an ear is kind of like a half heart, if you think about it. Okay. So let's draw a half heart right along 
that other fold. Okay, perfect. Kind of like this. <laughs> Oops. Nice. So now we're gonna draw the inside rim of that of that handle. Okay. For me, I'm just gonna take my pinky finger again and make something about that width and follow along that, that heart shape I made before. Yeah, that's wonderful. There we go. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna take our scissors. Okay. And we're just gonna cut where those folds were. That's so we perfect. just have a flat piece of paper to work on. Awesome. So we're kind of cutting the you're cup just, away from the handle. Exactly, and okay. you're leaving your marks so you can see them here. Great. So it's a flat sheet of paper. And you're gonna do the same thing with the handle. Just gonna cut that separately. And this is what we're gonna use to base our collage. All right, so now it's time to do the fun part, adding color to our cups. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> awesome. So I'm just gonna put a pile of paper here for us to choose from different colors. Wow. And what you're basically gonna do is fill, uh, fill the drawing you have here, even overlapping the lines. Okay. With uh, with the colors, and we'll try to just use whatever color. color speaks to you. Okay, perfect. You could tear it, rip it, cut tear it, it whatever, it, okay. and we'll use the glue stick to paste it on. Beautiful. Okay. So pretty, now that we have finished uh, collaging all of the, the area of the mug okay. in these wonderful colors, I love what you chose, by the way. Thank you, I love yours too. <laughs> um, what we're gonna do now is actually trim the excess off. So, you know how before we used marker to trace? Yep. To make that outline? Okay. Well, the great thing is we can see it on the back. Oh, that's piece. right, okay. So uh -huh. Let's take our scissors. Okay. And let's start with the with the handle. Okay. And just cut around the line we've made. Okay. Okay, so we have our handle. <gasps> wow. <laughs> let's do the That's cup. That's so now. cool. Okay. Yeah. Same thing and follow the outside line. Okay. When you're cutting, you can just kind of turn the paper to help you cut as opposed to moving the scissors. That's just the tip I have for everyone at home. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> that we don't have to move your scissors too much. Yeah. Okay. So now, do you remember the circle we put in the middle? Yes. Okay, so this is going to be slightly trickier. We're okay. going to cut that out. Yep. But to get in there, let's just bend the paper slightly. Okay. And kind of snip it. Just make a little snip to get in there. And then we'll carefully follow that line inside. Same. Perfect. The scissors. And this is the opening of our of our cup. Okay, pretty. This is my favorite part. I love turning it around and seeing what I what I cut away from because it's so crisp and clean. Are you yeah, ready? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Let's turn it around. Oh, this is so, so interesting. Yeah, and try your uh, try handle? The handle there. Wow. Gorgeous. But you know what brings it out even more? Is if you take this black background we have. Okay. And slide it underneath. Whoa. Look how much that pops. <laughs> that is amazing. So I think what we'll do next is we're going to put a little bit of a tabletop down so Ooh. it's sitting on something. Okay. Okay. So just grab a larger sheet of colored paper. Ooh. Okay. And just slide it under your cup. And what we'll do is we'll just glue this area. Okay. And then paste this paper on. Perfect. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, 
so once again, if you turn around the paper, or your sheet, you can use this existing black as your guide, and just, just oh. trim it to size. Perfect, okay. Okay, pretty, so now we have our background. Let's, let's slide our teacups into the frame and see what a difference that made. I can't wait to see it. Actually, it looks like it's sitting on a table, doesn't it? Wow. <laughs> It's like a 3D effect. Yep. So the big question is now, what do we want to fill our teacup with? <gasps> what kind I, of drink would you like? I think I'm going to fill it up with a good cup of chai. I like that. I'm going to do hot chocolate. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I have a great color here that looks like chai and also looks like hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. Um, so what you want to do is put your mug over Okay. Oh, face up. Okay. Yep, face yep. up. And I'm just going to give you a pencil crayon to lightly trace around the edge of your mug. So okay. just follow that outside line and make sure that the brown is filling up the entire space, space in the mug. Yeah. Okay. So before we cut it out, I think we should add some texture to our, our chai or okay. our hot chocolate. Okay. So, trying to find some brown pencil crayons in here. And, I don't know, just kind of have fun and make like a circular swirl. Ooh, that sounds like fun actually. And can you do different colors of brown? Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Almost like it was just poured into the mug. Ooh, oh, here. I have to use this one. <laughs> That'll look nice, I think. I think I have a nice color here. We want this to be tasty looking. Mm. We? All right, so now that we've created some texture here, we're going to take our scissors and cut this out. But we're just going to go a little bit inside the line. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now let's see how this slides into, into our mug. See how it fits underneath? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that looks delicious. <laughs> so let's take Yum. some glue okay. and we're going to attach it. Put the glue around the rim okay. of the outside or the underside of the mug you've made. Okay. And then line it up. And it should kind of hide within the back of it. Mm. So you only see it popping out in this section. Okay. So let's bring our background in and just position it kind of about here. And just take your glue stick and flip the side up and just kind of glue Let's parts of it down. That way you know where it's going. And same with your handle, just position it where you want it to go. I think that's good. And then just lift up the edge and, and glue it down. Perfect. So pretty, I, I love your teacup. It looks almost ready to drink. I love yours too, by the way, Ashley. Thank you. There's just something missing. What is it? Well, I don't know, it kind of looks cold. <gasps> Do we need steam? We need steam. Okay, let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's lots of ways we could make steam for this, but I'm gonna show you a little trick that I, I really like. Okay. Um, and it's by using not just one white pencil crayon, but two white pencil crayons. And so a little hack is I'm going to space the pencil crayon with another pencil crayon, so a third one. Okay. And I'm gonna make sure they're lined up so that they're they're touching the same. Okay. I'm gonna get some tape and just tape them together oh. so they don't move. That's great. Yeah. And this will kind of 
give us this nice, ribbony, flowy steam. Ooh, okay. So the reason we left so much space here, of course, is to show off just some curvy lines of steam. Okay. Let's try this. So just kind of... Ooh, look at that ribbon effect. Look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. I almost want to add one more because it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you that want to try? is gorgeous. Oh, I'd love to. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. So just like this? Uh, yeah. Just coming out from the top. However you want to swirl it. Wherever the wind blows it. Okay. Beautiful. And I think I need another round of it. I think you need more too. Ooh. Gorgeous. So I have one last detail I want to throw into my hot chocolate. And I don't know about any of you, but... I like putting a marshmallow in mine. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so I've cut out this little piece. It's kind of like an oval. And I'm just gonna stick it in there. Oh, that looks delicious. Just floating around, getting all soggy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Later for me to eat. <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank you. I think yours is gorgeous too. Ashley, this has been so much fun. And I feel like I'm ready to have my cup of chai now. Oh, same here. I'm definitely making a hot chocolate tonight, complete with a marshmallow. There's no other way. There isn't. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! <laughs>